In this video guide, we're going to see how we can export from Unreal Engine 5 into Twin Motion. So, right now, you can see I've already opened the two software. So, on the right side, we have Twin Motion, and we can use a template scene from here. And in the left side, we have Unreal Engine. So, of course, I need to launch Epic Games Launcher, or you need, you, you probably already have done that. You're probably using either Twin Motion or Unreal Engine or both. So you need to have Twin Motion and uh, Unreal Engine. You need to launch them from here. And you can also use any scene that you want. But right now, to make this video, I'm using a scene that I found in the marketplace. And I'm going to show you the name and how to find it. But uh, essentially, you can use anything. So you can. Uh, we're going to see how we can export from Unreal Engine Twin Motion. Why? Because Twin Motion, it's... Uh, uh, way easier to use and uh, it creates beautiful architectural visualization renderings animation. Now, if you look for in the marketplace for ArcViz or ArcViz Interior, you should find the scene that I will show you, or you can also check the Epic Games free content and free stuff that you find in the in the marketplace. Now, in my case, I've already downloaded and um, launched it, so you can see it's down there. It's called ArcViz Interior. Uh, so you will find it in um, in the in the marketplace. You, you need to convert it into the Unreal Engine five version, and that's how it should appear. You can see there on the left. Now here on the right, I'm gonna select this monochromatic product visualization template in uh, Twin Motion. So I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna use this one to import or you can either create a new scene this is just to make the easiest quickest fastest uh, thing we can do so it's gonna load up while it loads let's use well let's focus on this other scene and let's select an object that could be nice to to export okay so i'm gonna go for this sofa right here make sure it's in only one object and then we will go to file. Now you can export all the, the all elements in the scene, all assets and the scene itself, or just the selected. So I'm gonna export the selected. I'm gonna choose a folder. I'm gonna go here in a folder that I created and I'm gonna name this file sofa. So, or couch, call it however you want. And here you have some settings, but I want to touch anything here. I want to keep everything as it is, but you can change FBX format. Now, FBX is the standard, but um, uh, we will also try with another format. But quickly go through all the, the settings here and see if there is something you want to turn on or off. I'm just leaving everything as it is. I'm not touching anything and then export. So the other way, or one of the other way we can do this is uh, with another format, which is open source. And I think it works a lot better and it works um, you know, also in other situations. So I usually try with that, but you can also try OBJ, you can try STL, you can try uh, GLB. Now I'm gonna go for the GLTF because I, found it uh, many times uh, on the web and it works all of the time so i'm gonna use that and so just gonna keep everything as it is again but if you want to make sure that everything it's on uh, everything you need just make sure you have geometry and materials so we're gonna focus on exporting materials and geometry in this guide so everything looks fine here probably we need to adjust later something but and the texture the materials the the resolution is fine the formats so let's just export and this is going to take uh, more to export more time compared to fbx but the result is better so let's just wait for this to be exported and in the meanwhile what we can do is we can go into in motion and get rid of things that we don't need. So let's close the library panel on the left. Let's go in the scene panel on the right and let's manage a little bit the scene here. I'm gonna get rid of the watch 
I'm gonna just uh, delete the folder where it's um, with the watches. So I'm gonna delete with the delete key on the keyboard. And that's it. So we have an empty scene that we can use, kind of a photographic studio or something. So we're gonna bring the the couch in there, but it's gonna be bigger because the, the watch is actually a really small object. So let's go to File, Import, or Control i and select Geometry as Import Type, and let's go to Open. And let's use the first exported sofa in FBX format. So I'm gonna see the properties here, Reckly properties. Yeah, that's the FBX to make sure, and let's open. Now also here, I'm not touching anything. Everything is as it is in twin motion and especially unit conversion automatic. So it's gonna figure out automatically the size of the couch, which again should be really big compared to the watch. Now, if you don't see anything happen, just go in the scene and you can see there, we import a folder called sofa and inside we have a couch mesh. So it's right there. So if we click and drag, we can, with the left mouse, we can place it at the center of the scene and it's gonna snap with, with the pivot to the floor. So it's there, let's press F to focus on this object or right click or three dots there and go to zoom to selection so that you can zoom and work with that selection. And then I'm gonna rotate it using the, the blue arc there and place it using the, the axis. You can, and we're also gonna scale it down because it's too big. You can also scale the scene instead of scaling the the object, but this is the quicker, the faster way. So I'm, I wanna show you just how the, the, the model is looking. So you can see it's snapping to the floor. So I need to use the little sphere there to make a snap. And then I'm gonna push it up a little bit with the blue arrow. And there it is. So that's the first one. Now we can edit this in, uh, in motion terms of materials, but materials aren't there. So I'm just gonna do a second import. I'm gonna try with another format. I will click the import button down below, click on plus geometry, so the same exact thing. It's just two different ways to do the same thing. And then select sofa GLTF format, leave everything as it is and click import. And let's wait. So. There you go. Now, we don't see it again, so we need to go down, and there it is, another folder called Sofa. If I move this, nothing will happen, and nothing is visible, because we don't actually know where the that object is. So let's press F, and now we bounce like outside the scene. So it's a really big object, as the other one, but it also contains materials this time, so you can see that GLTF, appears to be more accurate. So I'm gonna move it, snap it again to the floor of my studio, and then I will scale it down to to match the size of the other one, but that's the exact same operation that we did with the previous one. So you can see how easy it is to export from uh, Unreal Engine. Now there are other techniques probably and other tools, so feel free to comment and also subscribe to the channel to stay updated for more videos. If you're interested, you will find courses and guides in Twinmotion, Unreal Engine in the channel, among other 3D software. So make sure you give a good look to the channel. If you wanna support us, you can support us by joining the channel as a supporter. So thanks for watching this guide and see you in the next.